Hola, hola, hola. It's the fifth storm and dad's fork on the world, so hola la. Tasty the try state on a budget. I suggest that this time you grab your favorite amigos and those you wish were more than just an amigo and travel back with us to a land at a time where fresh was the order of the day. I go remember this is gonna be a good one here at the Chevy's Fresh Mets at the Clifton Commons in Clifton, New Jersey. And it's next. It's me one moment. The ultimate distraction. The greatest love. Friends. Thrifting ain't easy. Unless you're watching me. Imagine all of these ingredients coming together in delicious matrimony to make this fresh, homemade salsa from scratch every day on the premises, complete with tortilla chips that are as big as the size of a kindergartner's hand, such as the essence of the Chevy's Fresh Mex Cookbook. And just like the recipes on the menu, this cookbook has the always fresh, Fresh Mex seal of approval. This was purchased from Red Valley Blue Flip Store in Patterson for $2.99. And without wasting one second further, we get started with fresh tortilla chips. They too are made from scratch every day on the premises. And if you're wondering how they do that, there's a machino for that. El machino is another thing Chevy's is famous for. But we have a machine that actually presses tortillas. We make our tortillas fresh daily, not only daily, but every 53 seconds. We make our fresh masa dough, we pat them with just a little bit of flour, then we put them in this machine, in El Machino, where they get pressed, and then there's four plates down there, and they cook on each plate. As it gets hotter, it's gonna puff up. That's when you know your tortillas are ready. When you order your sizzling fajita, you're gonna get a piping hot, freshly made tortilla right off of El Machino. Parents love it, kids love it, and most of all, it's fresh. If you don't happen to have El Machino at home and can't afford to make one from scratch, they give you a recipe for doing so with standard kitchen equipment. And then with tortilla chips with our little bit of salsa, or in this case, guacamole. We'll get to the salsa in a bit, but this is everybody's favorite guacamole, and that too is also made from scratch. I'll take that. I'll back some stuff up. Thanks a lot. Gracias. Hi. Early in the game, and we got ourselves an enchiladas trio. We have here three chicken enchiladas with a Monterey Jack and red sauce. Some ketchup for dipping into my seasoned fries here. Oh man, we got ourselves a real fiesta. Anyway, this is everybody's favorite guacamole. Probably should have gotten that instead of the salsa. Oh. These fresh veg tips are uh, sprinkled throughout the book in terms of ingredient preparation, substitution, even plating techniques. In fact, there's a separate section here, a couple of pages on plating alone. Well, they all help streamline the process to recreate some of their signature dishes at home, including many that you won't find on the menu today. Next up, five salsas. Grilled pineapple, mucho mango, Actually, six. Fresh Mex Tomatillo Salsa. The presentation of the recipes themselves, in terms of ingredients and instructions, they'll differ. They'll give you some of these in notes and others in a standard page full format. So six salsas in all, including pico de gallo, green apple salsa fresca, and corn and pepper pico. Speaking of which, we might as well go ahead and dig into this salsa now. It's a good lofty kit full of salsa. Here we go. At Chevy's, we put a whole lot of love into our salsa. That's why it tastes so good. It's a blend of just five fresh ingredients. Tomatoes, onions, jalapenos, cilantro, and spices. The magic is in the roasting. We char the veggies on an open flame to get that perfect dark roasted color. 
Then we blend them together with fresh cilantro. That's it. We make it fresh every day. Anybody hungry? At Chevy's, we set the table with salsa. Well, you know what we mean. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm actually going by way of one menu here that you'll find at the back. A single day whenever party. I'm actually filming this on May 1st. Just a few days away from Chevy's big fat single day mile fiesta going on here in the Clifton Commons. And I think you can tell they're getting a bit loaded up in terms of their decorations. It may not look like much now, but trust me. They'll lay it on thick. Anyway, back to the food. Red chili chicken taquitos which serves four. A guaranteed crowd pizza. Crispy rolled taquitos with a succulent chicken filling. And their foolproof skewer flying technique makes them easy. You can follow that technique in a series of four photographic step-by-step -step instructions, unlabeled, yet presented in a Kodak film strip format. We also have here Wings of Fire. Those are their beefed up buffalo wings, folks. With El Rancho dressing. Next up we have here Yucatan Chicken Skewers, which again serve four, complete with a homemade Yucatan marinade. One and a half cups you'll need for this. Some fajita nachos. And you can have nachos on the menu here as well. So some of the recipes in here are still on the menu, but a good majority of them might not be. You should check your local Chevy's Fresh Mex menu and do a comparison if you have this cookbook. This right here would be a guide to making your own enchilada. It's actually a few combos worth of them. Enchilada, filling, sauce, and cheese. And then a guide to roll your own burritos. Select your veggies, your chicken, your beef or pork, your protein, and then your extras all in the burrito and make it as bodacious as you want it to be. The recipes highlighted here, again, stem from the single day whenever party, which gives you the fresh mix finger food, which I highlighted, plus the cantina checklist. Those are all your drinks. They call essentials, wardrobe, and music. Speaking of music, you'll find their recommendations by way of these cassettes right here. Fresh mix music picks. Seem a little more straightforward. As you go back to the margaritas. I forgot to show you the daggone margaritas. Anyway, for main dishes to appetizers and of course desserts, this is definitely a fiesta waiting to happen at home. Oh, and here's what I was just talking about, El Messino. I don't know if they have an El Messino in this particular place. But getting back to the margaritas, we have here some fresh mex margaritas. Strawberry banana, original frozen, and mango margarita, complete with some fresh mex mixers. Some of the bases you'll need for these margaritas. This book retails in the U.S. for $16.95. In case you're not aware, I'm actually feeling kind of a nice breeze inside even though they do have outdoor dining now. It doesn't look like it now, but there were some people outdoors, and there is a patio there. But anyway, I don't want these enchiladas to get cold. So, uh, let's dig in. Chevy's Fresh Mex Cookbook receives four and a half out of five claps. Is it Fresh Mex to the max? I don't know. They do cover the basics in here nobly well, and not a lot of extras to go along with it. Not a lot of recipes in here exclusive for the cookbook itself. But it remains faithful to the menu, somewhat now. And as far as I'm concerned, it's definitely f f f fresh as it gets. This cookbook in salt is worth chasing down. Muchas gracias, amigos. Stay tuned and stay hungry.
Thanks for tuning in. Just so you know, there's no limit to Brady Hollywood Home on a budget. Please go ahead and check out another awesome review like this one by clicking here. And make sure you subscribe by clicking here. Until next time, I'll catch you, as I always do, on the flip side.